Awesome. Um, morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, it is an absolute. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to have you all here with us. Um, uh, Corey Jean. Corey Jean. <laughs> yeah. Corey Jean. Corey Taylor and I have been um, very good friends for twenty years. We've seen each other all in all the rawness and all of the craziness and every time we sit down and have a conversation we're like we're fucking awesome we want other people to hear this stuff <laughs> so here we are for you guys <laughs> no i i learn so much from corey every time i'm together with her um something shifts um and this um fruit feast and fasting that i have done over the last couple of weeks has literally been a life changer for me. And so I really just wanted to share this with you guys and our little dog outside. So, <laughs> so Corey's going to introduce herself and just tell us a little bit about her um, background and her training. Um, and throughout, we're just going to answer questions that you guys have um, and talk about my experience and just the way that um, I looked after myself through the challenge. Challenge, because mm. it is friggin' challenging, but it's like the most amazing results you'll ever see. Um, but as you guys know, I am an essential oil freak, um, and I love them. And I don't think I would have got through <laughs> this challenge without them. So I want to, um, you know, really expose you guys to the amazingness of fruit because it's been life-changing for me, but also share with you guys how you can support yourself with the essential oils as well. So, Corey Jean. Corey Taylor. <laughs> yeah, so you all know my middle name now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my, my very long 35 years into a short kind of snippet is that um, I was born on a dairy farm. I was immediately allergic to um, my mother's milk and then dairy milk. So my whole body was already lymphatically backed up. And within two years, I was having full-blown grand mal seizures. And this led me to be in hospital constantly um, up until the age of 11 when my kidneys were um, failing from the medications. And I was still having breakthrough seizures. And at that point, my mum said, right, I, I don't know what else to do. You're going to have to go on dialysis for the rest of your life. Um, and what kind of life is that? So let's try a medical herbalist and see how that goes. Um, six months later, I had not had a seizure unless under extreme circumstances like the birth of my son. <laughs> and so it was my miracle. It, it literally um, it saved my life and created a life of abundance, right? So what, what happened is I... I journeyed into, uh, after school, I journeyed into, I remember at school, actually, I used to do, like, green smoothies, and everyone thought I was a bat crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to do yoga and all sorts of things. And Corey's always been about 15 years ahead of her. Time, a little bit. She's like an it. old lady <laughs> and a young woman, beautiful woman's body. <laughs> so I used to get a lot of shit for it, and I wondered what was going on, but I just kind of left it and went, oh, I'll just go do broadcasting. And when I was at broadcasting, the lady said, you, you're kind of okay at writing, but I really do think you'd be better off in the natural health arena. You talk about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So I went and I, I didn't know, but I'd book, I, I'd applied for a um, diploma in herbal medicine, not just a naturopathy. It was um, it was a diploma in, in specifically in herbal medicine. And I came out of that like, mind blown thinking it might be quite easy and realizing that it was actually super hard and it took me an extra year to um to finish it while i was partying alcohol <laughs> drugs cigarettes the whole shebang i was um not fully aligned no i was definitely <laughs> not fully aligned and i ended in corporate um and I, I did exceptionally well at corporate i loved it but i also struggled with the mentality of the drive and the and the goalpost always shifting and um and I got to a point where I realized I was traveling New Zealand and I got so down and so depressed that I, I was drinking a bowl of wine a night and I was driving on the roads thinking I could easily just drive under that truck right now and that was when I went I've got to do something about this this is 
my my body, my mental um, well being, my general life was just in such a, a heavy space. And I started to um, do a lot more of the herbs, but I still felt like something was missing. And it wasn't until two years ago that I was sitting on the couch going, you're a freaking useless mother. Why can't you get off the couch? You're terrible. You, you know, you can't do your clinic properly. You can't get back to your clients. You know, sort your shit out. Like I, I couldn't even, a, paleo, a piece of paleo toast was about as max as I could get from the couch to my son to the, to the table. That was all I could kind of, get into my body and at that space at that time I was so against fruit because fruit was not okay my mum had always it said it was the devil yeah it yeah. made you fat yes absolutely and overload I, and like, sugar <laughs> yeah and we were only allowed max maybe two pieces a day if yep. that, you know and so I um a friend sent me a bit of a link to a piece of information and I like looked at the title and I was like back off woman I'm not gonna like <laughs> I'm not gonna read this. This is this is totally against who what I have been trained within um my corporate world, but also within my school, um, and what we've been taught about protein. So how was I gonna build a body on just fruit alone? Anyway, I went, whoa, something's shifting here, and I took four weeks off clinic and I just delved deeply into my biochemistry and um I came out the other side cursing and swearing and pretty angry at how that had um, shifted my whole perspective to the point where I said to my darling hunting husband, <laughs> um, honey, I'm going to just back off uh, all other foods and just go with fruit for three months and see how that feels for myself and for my son who was having severe issues with breaking teeth and waking every 45 minutes at night. And three months later, we did it, and I came out going, I can go to the supermarket and not be fully stressed. Uh, I can like feel like I can go for a walk. I can do everything in the house. Um, I, I felt like I was being a good mother. I was patient. I was in the moment. I was feeling like, whoa, my life has just completely shifted. And then slowly I started having the other foods again and I would recognize that actually I felt really bad after that. I, I, one of the fears was that um, the world was going to end. It was that, I was that adrenally like hyped up yeah. that I was like in a space of that's it, that we're going to get a meteorite hit the planet <laughs> anytime. And I was fully like fully totally in that panic that. attack. Yeah. And, um, and so slowly I just, I, I took away meat and I, I didn't want to my husband had a real fight against that you know like that was hard for us um and then I took away I've never been dairy um I took away wheat and I then I got to alcohol and went you know what I don't feel aligned with alcohol either anymore and what happened from that is that I just started to integrate that into my son's life and I saw his eyes change in his iridology that he was just becoming this whole different kid and he was sleeping and he was happy and he was you know, his teeth were getting better from fruit, where I've been told, you know, sugar just destroys your teeth. Um, and then, it, yeah, it, it just cascaded from there. And then I, put, I, I drew it into clinic. And that's when I saw, because I had the hemoview mm. to see the live blood analysis, I had the iridology machine to check out your eyes. I have the scales that check out your hydration levels. I saw the results on a biochemistry, like a scientific, you know, level. And that's when I was like, oh, this works. Yeah. And on paleo, <laughs> unfortunately, I tried to get people's hydration up because that's where you're going to get the shift. And max, I got people to 0.5% in hydration up from where they had been. But with fruit, within two to three weeks, people were like three, four percent in hydration. That's amazing. Cells his cells had completely shifted. And that's when I was like, you know, I yeah. didn't want to keep pricking my son and, and experimenting on him. But um, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He totally loves it. He pricks me now and loves it. Um, yeah, so that's how I, and, and, and then from there, it just kept growing and kept growing and kept growing. And now I'm just fully sold on this is the way to do regenerative detoxification yeah where you don't have to use supplements for the rest of your, of your life to feel good you use herbs and you use fruit but this is the power of fruit it is so regenerative while being detoxifying so it gives you energy while you're detoxing which what else does that yeah I mean, it's not possible um the thing for me when i started it or 
or looked at it was the five day detox. Mm. And I was like, I can do five days, yeah. you know, makes it accessible. Yeah. Makes it totally accessible. Sure and I, um, I, I believe in eating for our body type. So I don't necessarily think that, you know, when I was, when I was working and I had a paleo food business, there were some people that thrived Absolutely. and did super well on that. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Um, we didn't mm. because we've got different body shapes and different body types. Um, and so like when I look at this fruit detox, I go, this is for everybody because we can help in re in detox and then we can shift into something that's more intuitive, intuitive yeah. for, for each individual. Absolutely. But I don't know, but I've seen the girls that we've been doing this detox with and the shift that we've all had. It's been out of control. Some of you guys are on the Zoom call. Um, but do you think that this fruit detox is safe and yes. available to most so this people? Is, this is the thing is that um, even in diabetes, the, the monosaccharide, so fruit is a monosaccharide, it's a simple sugar. It does mm. not it does not need breaking down by the body. It doesn't need the adrenals to tell the pancreas, the small intestine, the stomach, everything, what to do and what enzymes and give this hormone reaction. And you've got a thousand different reactions. It is a simple sugar. So this sugar goes into the cell by diffusion. That means it doesn't need a hormone to piggyback into the cell. So because it goes by diffusion, we're not using insulin. So yeah. from that point of view, this is actually the way that we're going to cure diabetes. Mm. So does that not blow people's minds? Like, yeah, it's amazing. It's so like, why have we been told that fruit makes us fat? Yes. So because it's been lugged in with other sugars mm. and starches, polysaccharides are, they do tend to um, use that insulin and regulate with glucagon and that's where we load fat cells yeah and we don't have more fat cells from about the age of 14 mm -hmm. we get as many as we have till then yeah and then they grow from that stage so it's the starches and the polysaccharides that are causing those issues so essentially to me if i was you know like let's try and change the whole philosophy of fruit we need to actually take it out of the sugar picture yeah because it's not it's not the same. So they're saying, you know, there's a lot of um, scientific research out there saying, you know, fruit dose is bad for you, but they're doing that on high fructose corn syrup, which is an extract from corn, yeah. which is extremely toxic to the body. Yeah. Like cancer causing. Yeah. yeah. But I look at fruit and I go, like, this is perfectly beautifully made. <laughs> no, and right. so is our body. <laughs> yeah. And like, because I've been doing the, I've been eating fruit for a couple of weeks now, like literally just about all fruit. It's so easy. I know. Like I literally go to the fruit shop, buy what I need for the whole family. It's like a third of the cost mm -hmm. of what, you know, what I was spending before on groceries. I don't have to do anything to it. I know. You feel I it. Peel it. <laughs> Sometimes I put it in the blender. Yeah. Sometimes I like chop it up and like put a few things together. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so freaking delicious. Like I used to um, eat like a melon and think like, oh, it's like eating lollies. I was yeah. like feeling bad about it. And yeah. now I'm like, I'm fueling my body. Take this is girl. amazing. Yeah. And your brain literally survives on this. So what also happens is that when you're having fruit, your body relaxes because one, it's not using adrenal function to try and process all of this yeah. food that you're taking on, plus reacting to the food, but it's actually going, oh, I'm getting what I have craved for my entire species life, and I can relax now. So your adrenals start to heal. Yeah. Your body naturally comes back into a place of complete balance and homeostasis. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the biggest shifts that I saw for myself was the obviously the digestion. Mm. So in the first um, maybe like two or three days, I found it very hard to poo. Yeah. And it was very like uncomfortable and horrible. Um, so I sort of, I was like questioning and I was like, why is this happening? You know, what's this doing? I, I used so much friggin' digest then. It was like, rubbing it on my tummy, drinking it, freaking putting it all over my body to try and get the bowels moving. Why does that happen when you first start? So what's happening is you've got five to 15 kgs of putrefied matter that's sitting in the colon. And when the fruit comes in, 
you've got the fruit takes an hour to digest yeah. but it slowly filters to the cells mm -hmm. so you get a balanced energy but um as an example and sorry i'm not bagging meat but as an example meat takes 24 hours yeah and so and it needs a huge amount of adrenal yeah um intervention and so what, when you draw in the fruit in that capacity yeah what the fruit's trying to do is get past all of the other stuff yeah and trying to force it out because it's astringent and pulling all the acid yeah. so it's like oh my god come with me everybody come with me yeah. it ferments essentially and then it, it's purging out so yeah. you tend to get two to three days as like you quite start uncomfortable. quite uncomfortable as it's yeah. purging out what's sitting in the colon yeah so you can do obviously a slower process to this yeah um but that five day cleanse really kind of opens you up to what it's going to feel like at the end of five days yeah if you fully go completely in. go in yeah and it's amazing you wake up i, I forgot you wake up at like 5 a.m. and you're like, well, I'm ready to go. Yeah. What is this about? <laughs> you're like, I got up before everyone else and that was easy. Yeah. Um, it's it's like a totally different shift in energy. sleep better. Yeah. yeah. Everybody talked about you sleep better. Um, yeah. And it, and it is. We are 90, I think it's 98.9% uh, DNA closest to the bonobo monkey. Yeah. And so we're primate, you know, like the primate picture. And they have nails and they have teeth like us. They don't, we don't have six stomachs to process herbs. So yeah. um hate to kill this buzz for some people, but kale is really hard for our yeah. bodies to process. <laughs> it takes a lot. Sorry, kale munchers out there. <laughs> yeah. Um and we don't have six stomachs and we don't chew our cud to truly break it down. Yeah. Um so we need to chew it by chomping it up. Yeah, we... like smash the <laughs> yeah. and yeah. before you eat it. Um and so our like our species is opening fruit yeah um and possibly finding young green shoots like yeah. like we get with um sprouted things or you know like little lettuces or little dandelion green and then, leaf leaves yeah, yeah and then on occasion nuts and seeds where we yeah. find them right so from that point of view the, the more that we come back to our species specific the more that we cleanse out that whole system and then it starts to heal itself because it's got space. Yeah. And this is the cool part is that when you are eating fruit, the adrenals are so relaxed that mm -hmm. they don't assume that you're actually eating. Yeah. So you're in a state of fasting, even though you're eating fruit. And so your body will go into rest and repair in that space. Nice. Yeah. So, so for five good. days, your whole body was relaxed. Was relaxed. And I felt so relaxed and so like, right with myself yeah grounded. you know just grounded yeah. and really yeah good um the other thing that i my my mental block going into doing this fruit cleanse with you fruit detox was i can't fast like i'm a hungry person i'm a food <laughs> person i need food all the time I cannot be hungry, like, this is not going to be okay for me. I was like, oh, well, I'll just have a banana at, like, four o'clock in the morning, you know, I'll be all right. But I actually did the fasting, and I have never, ever even looked into fasting because I just thought this isn't for me. Like, I will crash, my blood sugars will crash. Um, I've been doing 16 hours every day, Whoa, and I feel fucking amazing yes like, yes i love amazing. it amazing yeah and i didn't i i and and corey suggests doing dry fasting through throughout the five day detox um which means that you don't drink a whole lot of water and you know and my routine was literally having a big bottle of water beside my bed and i was drinking every night and i was waking up during the night to go for a wee and I was waking up in the morning, busting, needing to go for a wee, yet I was not feeling hydrated. Mm. But with this, uh, with the fruit um, and drinking teas during the day and drinking smoothies and drinking, um, you know, soups juices and things, and juices, yeah. I have never, like my skin is, and not you know, gross, it's, right? yeah. yeah. And I do not feel, I haven't felt thirsty and mm. and except for on Sunday when I ate junk food and I woke up on Monday morning with a freaking hangover. You have a hangover from food. Thinking I know, that so. I, you know, <laughs> but generally I haven't felt thirsty. So what is that about? Like, so, it's so cool. So fruit, um, it creates this gel like substance in the body called H3O, which is hydronium. I always, 
<laughs> hydronium. Um, and so this gel-like substance is this electrical field that helps flow the, the external and internal fluid, yeah. right? So it's this powerhouse, absolute mm. powerhouse. So you are, we, we naturally are unable, especially if the water is um, quite acidic, yeah. we cannot naturally get that water into the cell mm. because the intracellular fluid is so perfectly pH, but the extracellular fluid is often acidic. Yeah. So the cell is going, no, 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 I don't want... You're like repelling the water. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's, the cellular membrane is so powerful, and it's going to go, right, I, I will let you in, and I will not let you in. Yeah. So with the fruit, the water is completely in its perfect form, Yeah. and it will get in by diffusion, yeah. and it will completely regulate that fluid. Right? Yeah. So and get nice plump cells. Plump cells. And so is that you why you feel it? Skin. In skin? Yeah. yeah. So okay. you get this full nutrition. The other thing that I noticed was I used to put on anywhere between two and four kgs of PMS weight. Yeah. Because my body was so acidic that what I was eating was creating an inflammatory reaction. Yeah. And you have what's called blood proteins drop out of the blood vessel, mm -hmm. and this causes like a, a a very acidic reaction. So the body will flood your body with water. Yeah. Where it's not getting in and out, so you'll get inflamed. Really yeah. Quickly. And that's what I was feeling. I was feeling like I was drinking lots of water, peeing lots, but not, but not getting, getting hydrated. Yeah. And this is where fruit is so incredible. The water has been filtered through the tree. Or the plant, it's also from rainwater, it's cleansed it completely and yeah. it's fully pH alkaline. Yeah. So it will get absorbed perfectly as it needs to, and then the cell can do everything it needs to and it will pull that out again. So Amazing. fruit is astringent and it will pull the acid with it. But yeah. it's also hydrating. Yeah. So here's the catch, it's oh, a paradox, amazing. but it's incredible. Incredible. Yeah. And like let's just talk about this for a second because Every place and everything is trying to sell you some freaking, you know, like protein powder or something to detox know, and all yeah. of these things. And like, I'm like most women, like I'm always wanting to look good. Um, and I've tried so many different diets and so many different things. And I am like, fruit is basically free like you can go and pick it off the trees yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is we would change the world if yeah. everybody was to do at least 50 percent fruit because, yeah. yeah we could have fruit trees running up the motorway for, you know, yeah it's amazing it and feed everyone and i just feel that um it's so accessible to anybody yeah it's not wrapped in plastic or doesn't need to be um but yes so the protein picture is along the lines of protein comes in a full like um i should try and use an example but i can't <laughs> right now. protein comes in a long strand and protein we've been told that protein is the building blocks to our body right yeah but it's not it's the little pieces within that protein that make it up mm -hmm. which is called the amino acids yeah and we get the full spectrum of amino acids from fruit yeah that's amazing what? <laughs> yeah um i was down while i was doing my fruit fast i was down hanging out with my boy cousins who are all hardcore gym junkies yeah. and they're they're like protein, really protein. yeah i mean they're super healthy yeah. and they they are um you know eat lots of fruit veggies and lots of fruit and i mean they're way ahead of me when it comes to health when i was their age but they're like but how do you get the protein mm. and i was like uh i'll ask corey yeah. <laughs> so again the primates they get all of the amino acids from the fruit from the um veggies i mean cows well, how do they grow up? it's all on grass which yeah. is the amino acids again the other big thing, unfortunately, with protein is that our generations have got weaker and weaker as we've gone along because of this lymphatic backup. Yeah. And our adrenals have got weaker. Mm. And our adrenals are the ones that break protein down in order to try and rebuild. But it is an extremely acidic process. Yeah. And because of that, our body, when we go on fruit, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing to watch. But you'll lose muscle first because mm. it's purifying the acidic protein, like the acidic created proteins. Yeah. And it will then lay down alkaline created proteins, which creates a different shape in your body. Which will be like a stronger, leaner. A stronger, leaner, healthier, metabolically more active. Yeah. Um, but also the protein can really destroy the kidneys because it's so hard for them to process. Yeah. So the first thing a doctor will do if you are in hospital with kidney failure is they will take you straight off protein because you're not going to survive that protein. The kidneys yeah. are just, and our kidneys are the powerhouse. They are literally our um, electrical wiring system. Yeah. So without them, our energy flails and yeah, yeah. yeah we drop out.
So for those people that are not wanting to go like full fruitarian, yeah, <laughs> vegan, <totally. laughs> uh, what is the best way for them to come off that detox and, and, and reintroduce, and reintroduce normal food back Absolutely. Into, yeah. into their lives? So what I generally, um, this is a general, if I haven't seen someone in clinic, what I generally say is, right, have your fruit in the morning as only your fruit, nothing else, your yep. warm water with lemon, mm -hmm. stick to your fruit bowl right up until about 11, 12 o'clock if possible. Yeah. Then have your coffee. If yep. you're going to have coffee. I am going to have coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> then have it around 11, you know, 11, 12 o'clock because yeah. then you're not stimulating the adrenals so much that you go into that high wired yeah. stimulated energy, mm. but you have also given the body like 16, 17, potentially 18 hours of fasting. Yeah. So that's how I would start someone if they're not going to do the full cleanse. You start that way. But then you also end that way. So yeah. you, if you're coming back off, you go from full fruit and then you slowly like bring in maybe um, cooked veggies. Yeah. And then you bring in, you accept starches because mm -hmm. you do not want to go and put potato on top of a fruit cleanse. You're going to yeah. feel like arse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you bring in your quinoa, your seeds. So your yeah. quinoa, your amaranth, that kind of thing. And then you slowly integrate that, maybe a salad at lunch, and then draw that back down from you. Yeah. So something I did want to um, point out, though, is that people have forgotten that tomato, squash, zucchini, cucumber, avocado, avocado, avocado it was like my lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so during the um, cleanse, I'll tell you what my day yes, looked like. Because I, I, I've heard so many amazing things about how the cleanse went for people, yeah. but I haven't seen how it actually like day to day. Yeah, and you can like give me a little tweak on what I, you know, what I could do and what I couldn't do. So when I first started on the first day, I think it was a Monday. Yep. Yeah, a Monday. I freaked out. <laughs> okay, so first like, we breathe. <laughs> gonna eat totally. <laughs> and I have been for for a long time um been doing a fruit smoothie in yep. the morning um but I've really I've been putting in protein powders and yep. all sorts of shit that I thought I needed mm. <laughs> because you know I've been sold all oh, this so, things, totally right? so sorry about that but on the first day I was like I'll just take out all the shit and just have the fruit um and so I did that in the morning. So how did that feel? Like, um, how, how did the difference feel? It tasted way nicer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bonus one. <laughs> it was so much easier to make. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this probably cost me like two dollars instead of twenty dollars. <laughs> like all the you know the superfoods and all the shit that you're told to put in. So I didn't do that. So I just put in fruit. I always when when things are on you know seasonal and on special mm. at the fruit markets i'll get a whole lot of it and i'll chop it up and put it in the freezer yep. so super easy i literally just got stuff out of the freezer put it in my nutribullet nice. zhuzhed it with some water yeah. um and it was yum mm. and i was like why don't i just always do this and because i thought that the mistakes. fruit made you fat so i was before i was doing <laughs> like half a cup of fruit and I was like oh I can't do more than that because I'll get fat yeah. <laughs> and so this I literally topped it up with fruit put in water zhuzhed it drank it amazing um I felt freezing oh cold yeah, yeah so yeah. cold so yeah. the first day I I had that and then I went and I had a whole lot of chopped up fruit and, and beautiful, loved it. And I was just like eating it like, oh my God. You know, like those fat bears that are in the forest? <laughs> That's how I felt. <laughs> I'm like the fat bear, like, oh God. And Corey's like, you can have like 10 mandarins. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, I'm going to have it. Honestly, I felt here. like, the cat that had got the cream. <laughs> yes, I was like, just to keep eating. let me eat this. And Corey's like, just put in more. Like, yeah. if you get hungry, you're not going to get hungry. Just eat more and more fruit. So I just ate. I went and got persimmons. Yes. And I had like, cut up like One four persimmons at a time. And that was, uh, oh my God. Four. Yeah. Oh yeah. I honestly I can't even eight. stuff any more <laughs> in. I'm, I'm getting better, but it's still hard. Um. So I cut up fruit and I just 
yeah, I, I felt cold. Yeah. So the thing that I learned over the five days was tea as your friend. Tea. Herbal T tea. Yeah, it's tea. So tea. I had um, some beautiful herbal teas that I got. So I got a, like a liver one and a, um, and a kidney one from Artemis Teas. And I was just putting lemon. So like yeah. a couple of drops of lemon in with the tea. And that literally just oh, really, yeah. 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 So the lemon oil really helps with flushing out and cleansing you. Yeah. Um, but it also helps with hydration. So, you know, rather than just drinking like, I guess what you call hard water, you yeah. know, that water yeah. that just pisses just out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the lemon oil helps you, you know, really helps it go in. It makes you, it really uplifts your mood. Yeah. So I'll give you a sniff of this one because it's like... I love lemon. Literally my favourite. My tree's going crazy. My favourite oil. So lemon, um, from that point of view, uh, is freshly squeezed as well, is one of the best bitter digestives that you can use. So I suggest when people are really struggling to digest fruit that you actually use a squeeze of lemon in warm water about 10 to 20 minutes before your meal just yeah. to stimulate the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. And that will help you process the fruit. Yeah, and so I, um, I did get, that, I did get some lemons, fresh yeah, lemons as well. I'm using a drop of that, but but putting the it's lemon nice. oil in, well, it was just easier. So cool. And yep. it was it, when I went to a cafe, like I had it there, so I could put it in, which Perfect. is awesome. Um, so the, yeah, the tea really helped with the warming. Um, the first couple of days, I um had that problem with not being able to poo and like feeling really bloated Real and heavy. really heavy. Yeah. So the digest then, I just got some um, carrier oil, put a couple of drops on, put, rubbed it on my tummy nice. and really like massaged it into my tummy, like deep massage. Did you try a wheaty as well? Um, no, I didn't, but that would be a kind really of, good yeah. idea to kind like help with that movement. Yeah, yeah. warmth and everything. So the digest then was absolute lifesaver. The other thing that I needed to do for the first date, and I'm sorry, I know we've got a freaking water shortage, but I was the first in the bath, and then all the other kids had the bath after me. But I needed to bath, have a bath to get warm. So Epsom salts, mm -hmm. um, and I put in um, frankincense and lavender. Oh, so oh. that was really nice for my nervous system, which had, was like fried, like my adrenals were like, on like high alert, like fuck, I'm gonna starve. Everything, <laughs> my life is turning upside down. How am I gonna do a fast overnight? I'm freezing. I can't do deal with this. I need meat. Give me a pizza. Yeah. This helped me that <laughs> chill down. Comes up at night. Like for me, yeah. I find it at night. I'm like, I'm cooking dinner for everybody else, and then I'm like, <gasps> honestly, I don't get to have some of that. What do you mean? <laughs> so Ron, my beautiful, beautiful partner, love him. Absolutely yeah. love him, but he sits. But. <laughs> but he's, however, <laughs> he sits on the couch at night and literally will eat a packet of chips. Oh my god! A bar of chocolate. A ginger, like, a ginger nuts. I'm like, do. And he sits beside me, and I am like a chronic eater. Like, if I, you know, I, I'm bad. an addict, right? So, like, if, give me, give me alcohol, and I'll just drink the whole freaking, you know. You know, oh, I'll drink we the whole <laughs> and dance on the tables. Give me a bag of cocaine. It's all gone. She doesn't need alcohol <laughs> to do that. She so on the table anyway. two and a half years ago, I stopped drinking and obviously like I've not done drugs for quite a long time because I'm a responsible mother, but I moved my addiction to food. Yeah. And totally. so That's that, I got. that anxiety was real like in that first couple of days of doing this detox i was literally like having heart palpitations freaking out and so the lavender and the frankincense and having a bath it just mm -hmm. felt like a warm hug yeah and well, it, yeah completely yeah. Matches, right? yeah. 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 So, so lavender oh my god is so good and it's yeah impressive. it's incredible. so the the lavender was that real like calming of the nervous system and then the frankincense was the grounding and the you know hugging your tree <laughs> i have to tell you my popper and i um, made essential oils when i was little oh and that's we did so a lavender cool. and he couldn't get the barbecue started and it <laughs> so he gassed out the garage and then we Oof, and he burned off his eyebrows and got <laughs> shot into the laundry. So that smell just like completely brings back the memories. 
So the frankincense oil, oh, yeah. like super, just when I'm feeling super anxious, these two That's together incredible. are amazing. So I've either put them in the diffuser, put them in an oil and rub them all over my body. Mm. Um, even with frankincense, I will put a drop under my tongue and it will just like bring me back to earth. But those two were, yeah, absolute lifesaver yeah. throughout the detox. Um, and then at night, I, I think those first five days, I had to go to bed early. Like yeah. I was, I've never been so tired in my life. Yeah. So it exposes how exhausted your adrenals yeah. are. Like because they're not having to do anything, they're just like, oh. So it took me, I have to be really honest here, about a year. Yeah. Where I kept falling asleep with my son at seven o'clock. I night. was falling asleep on the couch, yeah. like not like a little nana nap, yeah. like dead, dead lady, so, yeah. dead woman, yeah. people, humans all around my house, me, asleep <laughs> dribbling on the couch. <laughs> Playground? <laughs> Drawn <mode. laughs> Like, I've never, ever been able to go to bed without having a shower, and those yeah. first two days, knocked out. I, I couldn't. Like, I but, couldn't get off the couch. I, I literally, Ron, like, carried me yeah. to bed. But did you also feel like you had energy during the day? Like, did you feel oh, like amazing. It was a I don't know, right? Amazing. It's like a balanced yeah. calm. Yeah. And I don't have a slump. Like yeah. I used to be like two o'clock, boof, I'm out. Yeah, I remember is... working with you. <laughs> Just like coffee, chocolate, give me a cigarette, like anything to stay awake. <laughs> I remember you finding me on the couch actually. Um <laughs> so that would be me. I'd hit like two o'clock and I'd, you know, I'd be doing PT training, I'd get up at five, do my meditation and things, but by two o'clock it was boof. Yeah. And don't and just Nobody should even hire me in the afternoon. So like, <laughs> should, should not hire me in the afternoon. Um, and now it's like I can keep going. And and by three thirty, I'm picking up my son. I'm like, let's go do stuff. Yeah. And it's like whoa. I know. It's difference. like giving you your life back. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Like this is life changing. Yeah. That's why I'm so passionate. Because Same. It That's why I want all of you guys to get in life. on this thing. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that you know, like, on the spiritual context of this. Yeah is that Gaia has gifted us the fruit. And yeah. there's so many labels around this. Fruitfulness. Yeah. Fruity. You know, <laughs> so much, you know, oh, Corey, you're so fruity. I mean, there's <laughs> literally like a womb with seeds in it. Like, yeah. That is like the divine masculine, the divine feminine. And then I find, like, I meditate like a boss. Like, yeah. I can literally through my healings I can channel and be like this is cool and I li I genuinely do not eat until I've finished my full day of clinic yeah because if I eat I know that I'm not going to be able to offer the best that I am yeah and then I will hit the fruit so hard yeah because then I know that I've got the rest of the evening to yeah. you know, do what I need to do honestly like my work days I have I used to just sit there and probably just piss around like there was so much unproductive time in my day now I feel super efficient and I just get stuff done and I'm like okay what am I going to do with the rest of the day this is amazing and I've got so much energy like yeah. what bring it at me you yeah. know? <laughs> and I've had like you know relationships improve because like i even today a friend um texts me and she's like oh, you know this has changed the way that I am with my husband like yeah. totally for me yeah. Like we had to get past the whole he's a hunter and wants to provide. <laughs> like, <laughs> how do I provide now? I'm like, go get me some Bejoas. <laughs> Record some Bejoas from the news. Um, but the reality is that I have that I have that ability to give more because I feel completely yeah. centered and grounded. And it sounds so odd that one food type yeah. can shift that, but yeah. I feel like we have actually been hidden this information for a long time. Yeah. Because the reality is you are high vibing when you're on this. Yeah, totally. Um, so my dinners, mm, so I like. I'd love to just be able to eat fruit all day, but I still feel like I need to eat like a proper meal, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I think it's just Fully like a cultural you. thing. Yeah. Um, so what I did for dinners, um, I was getting um, courgettes. What do you call them? Zucchini. Zucchinis. <laughs> um, and getting a spiralizer and yes. spiralizing that and putting in my Nutribullet. I was just putting in tomatoes, avocado, um, a little bit of garlic. Um, I was putting in basil oil. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but I, I felt really called to it. And then I learned more about it and it really helps with supporting your... Um, adrenals yes and that's what I was that that's why I came to do this fast was because 
I get like I've had such bad pain in my back from my adrenals being on high alert for years and just chronic Brain stress day, yeah. that um, yeah read about the basil oil and started rubbing it on my um, adrenals and and just I mean like for the first time in three years or four years maybe I could sleep without having pain and I just thought that I was going to have that for the rest of my yeah. life yeah and I never thought that I could get rid of this pain I just mm. thought it was how it was yeah. um so yeah the basil oil amazing but just having that food that is so nourishing um and having it like I was probably eating at about five thirty six o'clock yeah. um and I just thought that I would starve <laughs> after that. I was like, it's just like green stuff. Um, how am I going to get through the night? And I just didn't feel hungry. No, and no. why? Like, so, so <laughs> your body is, because it's gone into the relax, but you've also, if you've had enough, this mm -hmm. is the biggest thing that people fall back on, yeah. is not eating enough in that first five days. Yeah. Right? Because it is, it, it, the more, if, if somebody's overweight, the, it's actually the more they eat, the more they'll lose weight. Yeah. Um, but because what's happening is your body has actually had the alignment with what it's what it has been craving for so long. Yeah. And that fruit is actually really filling. Like, mm -hmm. you, like, and when I started, I could only have about five mandarins. Now yeah. I can get into 20 and I'm like, cool, I'm good. Yeah. But it is filling. And so when you get to that evening meal and you have had that big meal, like yeah. that big fruit meal, but yeah. it might be more of a salad mm. base, then your body actually goes, I'm good. I've got all the nutrition I need. Yeah. And I, and and I wasn't, don't crave. And I didn't feel hungry. No. And I could sit next to Ron on the couch while he ate yeah. his three kilos of absolute <laughs> shit <laughs> and i didn't want it like yeah. I, it actually made me feel repulsed yes. and also repulsed against him <laughs> we won't go into that one <laughs> so he's actually being start like now yeah. like so last week i was like if you're gonna eat can you just like eat away from me because you're making me feel sick <laughs> and he go and he said to me a couple of days ago i think i've got a problem with food it's amazing, right? You and I'm like, like you have been line. eating like this for like three years. We both gave up drinking and smoking at the same time together. It was like our love pact. It was like we're in or we're out. Yeah, <laughs> um, cool. And both of us moved, shifted our addiction to food. Um, and it's been amazing that he has woken up to this because I've shifted. So I don't, I've not told him not to eat it. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. I don't want to be the windy bitchy wife. No, and there's no so at all. I've left it, you know, I up to him. Like, they'll naturally see totally. how you feel and they'll go, oh, okay. My husband yeah. does that all the time. It's amazing. He'll hit so something and be like, oh, I'll, maybe I should do what you're doing. I'll report back in like a month and see how we're going. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so that, those, were, those were the main things for me that I struggled with was feeling cold, um, feeling bloated and sore, like digestive system, yeah. um, just feeling really tired in those first yeah. five days. Um, and then after the five days, it was my birthday on the, yes, <laughs> on right. the Friday. Yeah. And so on the Friday, um, I tested out like going and eating out in cafes and how I was going to survive in public because I'm like a big eat, like I'm a big social person and I love connecting with people and I love my cafes. Oh, and <laughs> I, like literally, I'm like just a food person. Like <laughs> it's my life. And so I went um, cafe hopping on my um, on my birthday with some of my girlfriends and I found some really cool cafes um, and it's surprising what you can get when you're out so kind cafe in Morningside is amazing so they've got so many vegan options um, and so many like fruit based and vegetable you know like fruit vegetables um, so I went there and just had the most beautiful food um, and, and then also the other thing that I have been not able to do for years is drink juice mm. and i am drinking juice yeah and i'm freaking loving it yeah i know it's like get more get yeah. More. yeah so i had this um you know 35 kilo weight increase when i got pregnant with asha when i was like 21 um and i thought that it was because i drank orange juice during mm. it but it wasn't it was the fact that i was also having mcdonald's <laughs> 
I know. Know. Most people are like, it's the orange juice. No, it's the McDonald's. <laughs> but you know, you're taught that orange juice is yeah, bad, right? Juice is bad. Yeah. So I. What you can buy in the supermarket, though, and what you like actually drink yeah. yourself are really different. Yeah, totally. But there were some cool places that I went, like Kind Cafe, that do their own juicing. So yes. I got some beautiful oh fresh gosh. juices, and I felt amazing doing it. Um, and yeah, just really understanding that you can do this anywhere. Yeah. Like it's not like oh, I'm going on a diet. It's hey, no. I'm just making better choices. Yeah, and naturally, like you'll come back into an intuitive diet where, like, when I'm not in full detox, we'll we'll do like um, falafel on occasion on a salad. You yeah, know? or we'll do zucchini noodles with like a cauliflower um, creamy yeah you know, dressing, something like that. And then I'll top that up for my partner. My husband and their and, and my son on occasion but he yeah. generally it's just shocking yeah. he generally will like push away anything yeah. that is not fruit based yeah that's amazing like like, like a hubby made mashed potato and something the other day yeah and he was like i don't like it dad and he kept going for the capsicums yeah and scotty's like he needs to eat more than that and i was like no he doesn't give him, <laughs> no. give him 100 percent of it totally so when i was doing my um spiralizing of the zucchinis um my spiralizer is crap and it like leaves about that much zucchini oh, yeah. at the end. So I'd chop that up and Wolfie was just eating that. Oh, like he God, would choose so the cool. zucchini yeah. over. So Wolfie's nearly three, yep. but he would choose the zucchini over like the dinner that Ron had made him. Yep. So my kids are loving smoothies in the morning. Lots of, so basically their whole lunch box is chopped up fruit. fruit yep. Um, and chopped up, pick, yeah, so they do it intuitively, yeah. yeah. And and I've always done that. Like I've always given the kids fruit, yeah. But I didn't give it to me because I thought they were growing, so you know they'd love it. Yeah. So now I'm eating what the kids have been eating, and I'm like, oh, now I know why my kids are so healthy because I've been <laughs> feeding them fruit their whole life. <laughs> yeah, totally. So I literally used to just buy fruit for the kids, and now I'm like, I feel like a kid again because I get to eat yes, the fruit and I, I get know. to. And, eat and you get banana ice cream, which is so amazing. And yeah, you get, like chocolate mousse from yeah. avocados. And um, the other thing that I loved eating during this was like cutting two or three avocados up and putting some nutritional yeast on top yes. of it and, and so gobbling yummy. that up. And yeah. and that with a couple cup of tea with some lemon in it, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So that was like one of the things that really got me through. Yeah. And the same thing again, I'm like, avocados make you fat. <laughs> I can't eat them. So the avocados, I think, are my best friend. I know. <laughs> Our lady down the road brings them to us and she's just yeah. run out. I was like, you what? And she's like, what? She um, what other fruit to, oh, kiwi fruit. Mango. Amazing. Gold kiwi mm. fruit. I know. Amazing. Yeah. This making, is all um, stuff. Making a salad with um, mango, chop, chopped up mango, chopped up avocado, cucumber, cucumber zucchini, um, rocket. And lettuce crunch it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Just yeah. beautiful. And making chipotle this... peppers and things like yeah. so. All your peppers, all of your capsicums. So you can make, like, even if you gently kind of warm the yeah. peppers mm. and then put them in a um, blender. Yeah. And then you chuck in your garlic, your turmeric, your whatever, and create. And coconut is also, like, totally on the, yeah. the list. So, gosh, that opens up everything. You can yeah, use totally. coconut meat. You can use coconut cream. So um, a, a curry, even if you have only just gently warmed the coconut cream and you chucked in veggies just yeah. to warm them, not yeah. to actually cook them. Yeah, it's so that's good. A, that's um, a full blown. That's meat. what I made for dinner last night. Um, so I did um, these beautiful, big, juicy, like yellow tomatoes yeah. that I was like, what are these? They're amazing. I'm going to use them. And they taste beautiful. So tomatoes, capsicum, um, and I just warmed it and I did some like roasted, I, I already done roasted um, kumara for the kids. So yep. I just chopped a little bit of roasted kumara and put that in, yep. put in some chopped up um, lettuce and things, some, lots of herbs. Yeah. So I've been yeah. buying like that, going to the Asian markets and, and buying like bags yeah. of I herbs. have like a parsley salad. And like people, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, some people use lettuce, I use coriander. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm so, so yeah, putting all the herbs in and then like 
squeezing lemon on top. I'm like, this is the best food I've ever no. eaten in my life. No, it's so delicious. Like seed oil if you want to top that up, if you're not yeah. on the full challenge. And, and I'm just 100% pumped to be back in the kitchen. I know, Like, right. so many years of, like, fighting the food. Like, oh, what, what should I eat? And, like, this is too complicated. Now I get it. Mm. And I'm like, this is easy. Like, mm. fruit, easy and it's just so, and it feels, so good it feels bright it feels light like we have the, the ability to see colors yeah that's because of the fruit yeah you know because we had to see the fruit it yeah it gives that color it's that vibrancy yeah and that we get that that is the sun-kissed fruits it yeah. is literally divine light it yeah so it's so it's so so amazing <laughs> um have we got any questions up here oh Fruit and vegetables in their lunch box for school. Is that enough to get them full? Is my eleven year old um have to have a sandwich? This idea came from when I was a child having a sandwich. To a sandwich is oh, so totally of our upbringing, eh? Yeah, like I um I still put in sandwiches for the kids. Um, a lot of the time they come back and they haven't eaten a sandwich, but I feel like you know so they don't get bullied at school. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the teachers literally think I know, they that, look at you like you're depriving them. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So I I, do or, all... um, are your parents okay? Like, are yeah. they, they're so <laughs> poor or they like, giving you as fruit? <laughs> so, so I do put in a sandwich and I, you know. I'm exactly the same. So I, I do like a fishing tackle box and I just fill that to brim with fruit. And then I give him a paleo um, uh, gluten free sourdough. And I put um, cashew butter on that. So that's his, like, and then I'll do bliss balls for him, um, like homemade bliss balls and seaweed. I do a lot of seaweed. Yeah, my kids love yeah. seaweed. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I love um, fruits as well. putting in is, like, I make, uh, like, a rolled oats kind of bar, like, baked cake thing. Yeah. Um, and it's basically, like, 90% bananas. Yeah. So it's, like, bananas um, and, and then just rolled oats um honey uh a couple of eggs um some spelt flour and i just bake that and they love it yeah. and they have it for breakfast sometimes too yeah. <laughs> like if they can't if they can't if they don't have time for breakfast or running out the door to rugby yeah. they'll just chow some of that down um and it's like 90 percent fruit and then the base is just rolled oats which is awesome and super low and like so su super low inflammatory food um yeah so the kids um, are so much more um, easier than us. It's like so we freak out. We well. freak out about yeah. things like fruit yeah. and like you no, know, just me. <laughs> <laughs> but the kids, they love it. Like well, they're also intuitive. Like Jordy um, went till ten a.m. the other day without asking for food. Yeah. And I gifted him that because I was like, well, he is fully aware of what he is wanting. Yeah. And um, I realized the next day that he was getting a runny nose. So he was in a state of stepping into drainage, which we want this drainage. We yeah. want the lymph fluid out. Um, and he naturally did that fasting for himself so that he knew that he could get those kidneys yeah. filtering. I know that the kids are so much more. If we don't place expectations of food on them, yeah. they're going to naturally like appeal. They're going to you know, appeal to what, what they actually, what they actually want need, and need. Much more than we are because totally. we're so you know we're so distracted by all of the the world and what they're telling us the kids aren't um with uh one of the things that i noticed the most when i went off you know the full fruit fruiting um and on, this, on sunday i went and i had um potato chips um sausage rolls uh all the things at, at the rugby yeah, yeah, you um, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sausage rolls, <laughs> potato chips, chocolate, something else. And I woke up on Monday with a hangover. Yeah, like not nice. I have never, ever even oh, imagined. Yes. And yeah. I have had like headaches since Sunday. Um, and now I'm getting back onto the fruit, obviously, because I'm like, hey, I don't want to do that again. But what's like what what really um got to me during it was during the fruit fruiting and and being on fruit more now is the hydration so when i eat this processed food i get so thirsty my mouth gets dry i get bad breath because my this it's like toxic. my teeth get yeah, fluffy 
Um, my eyes feel dry and itchy. Um, my skin like shrivels up like an old lady. Um, and then, yeah, when I was on the fruit or when I'm on, now that I'm back on it, I feel like good again. Mm. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like the first thing that happens when um, my husband gives Geordie something that's processed is he will immediately, within two minutes, he's still chewing. He'll be like, Mom, get me the water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Dehydrates. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's yeah. instant. Yeah. Like, it instantly. Once you're on the fruit and you completely hydrate your cells, yeah. then you recognize how yeah. instant that dehydration So I think yeah. I must have lived for years in dehydration. Oh, everybody is. Yeah. Fully. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has anybody got any other questions on here? Let me have a look on here. There looks like there might be. So, oh my gosh, we've got lots. Eee, okay. <laughs> um, how do you test hydration levels? Honey, that's awesome. So um, there's scales. My scales are called Tanita scales. Um, your gym might have them, but they test your muscle tissue, um, your bone, um, how dense your bone is how much organs are around the, the how much organs how much fat is around the organs um and your hydration level or i can send a picture to you as well like in the five day fruit um challenge just to see if it's similar um because yeah i don't get people on the scales for weight it's not to me this is not about weight what i do get people on the scales for is that hydration level and checking the fat that sits around the organs because that's the threatening part Plus, what I've noticed, like for long, for clients that have stayed with me longer than six months, is that their bone structure becomes heavier. Wow. Like, what? That's We've got a crazy. severe case of osteoporosis in New Zealand. Like, we have one of the highest rates of it, and we eat a huge amount of dairy, which is calcium. But, however, here's the catch. The calcium super from dairy acidic. is super acidic, and our body will pull calcium from our skin our connective tissue, our bones, in order to um, al al alkalize it, mm. basically. So we're actually doing ourselves a disservice. That's counterproductive. Totally. And um, the best one out there is orange juice. So, well, oranges, orange juice. It has the most bioavailable calcium that is on the planet. So, yeah. And so can I just eat the orange mm -hmm. to get the totally. calcium? <laughs> and for the first kind of, like, when you start with fruit, you should always just try and eat the food before you kind of step into juicing. Yeah. How do you test hydration? Yeah, so it's a, it's a scale um, that I use. I don't know any other way to do it. Um, Who said oh, she's done three weeks? Is that you, honey? Is that Honey said she's done three weeks? Honey's on three weeks, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're a blooming legend. Um, That's awesome. What if diabetics aren't ready to go for fruit? Absolutely. Um, do you still recommend high fruit? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, diabetics are a different story. I'm very, very... Um, Ty's asked this. So <laughs> um, they, because of the severe adrenal... Um, exhaustion and the uh, issue with the pancreatic enzymes there is um, a limit to how fast you can push that detox for them especially if they're working with insulin so if they're injecting then there's a whole process around that so with diabetics I would not advise anybody to go outside of just a morning meal with fruit unless they're with a practitioner because with them you really do need to be in daily contact for the first like and month. monitor the monitor insulin yeah. yeah fully and it does change it changes really quickly i've done it with two people but it's pretty intensive so um, yeah you need to work with only. somebody yeah um and same with pregnant people pregnant women yeah i mean it's not as bad but the catch with pregnant women is that if you are quite lymphatically backed up which i severely was even though i did a year of detox beforehand um you can, and especially if there's been dairy, you can actually offload a lot of that lymphatic waste and the potential, we don't know the scientific background of how much that may be pushing that waste through into the placenta. Yeah. Um, well, you we just don't know, do you? So you don't, don't want to so risk it. So anywhere between like 30 and 50% fruit is absolutely fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. But if you go over that, you're starting to go into the high levels of detox. Yeah. Um, the other one that I wanted to point out is that dioxin, which is one of the most lethal um, uh, toxins on the planet, which actually we do tend to get from dairy. The only way they've been shown to actually eliminate that from a human body is through breast milk. 
Wow. I know, right? That's so scary. Um, gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. Um, and so it, it's really important that we don't actually, like I breastfed my son up over the past two years, but we actually shouldn't yeah. because they lose their ability to process. They lose the lactase enzyme to process. After a year, right? After two years. Oh, so two. it's yeah. around two years. And then they're probably more, getting more lymph fluid than they are like Actual, quality sustainable milk. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a real key... Um, as much as you, everyone would go, right, breast milk is the yeah. optimal, right? But there is a level of lymphatic um, yeah. discharge that happens. Right, so thanks, Ty. That's a cool question. Yeah, honey's done it for three weeks. Oh, my gosh. Fruit is so freaking delicious. Yes, it's nature's lollies. Totally put grapes in the freezer, and it's like, what? Oh, my kids love great, loving the grapes. Someone said peas the other day. I, like, oh, I hate peas. Yuck. <laughs> Love that nature's lollies. It so is though. This is the thing. And yeah, true hydration. This is true hydration. There's no even with chlorophyll, I can't get enough hydration. Our fruit is super duper high in potassium, absolutely, and so low in sodium. And uh, oh, is there a biochemist of this? Um super. Well, the the salt is quite um dehydrating on the adrenals. Yeah. So we're um we fruit is um, a diuretic the fruit being high in potassium it actually supports that whole entire cardiovascular urinary filtration system so like bananas we've been told you know you shouldn't have too many if you've got a cardiovascular because risk. they'll make you fat <laughs> <laughs> Um, but they are the optimal. They actually um, help regulate the aldosterone going through, that, which is a hormone that helps with um, how much water fluid you keep in and out of the body. Mm. So, yeah, um, is that kind of... Um, what about apples, Corey? Because yes. during... Well, apples are a little bit kick butt. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, when I was, the first few days, I was eating apples and I was getting the worst indigestion and like sore tummies and I was like, Ugh. and also just the taste, yuck, gross. <laughs> like everything. I love apples, but they are extremely, like their fiber is extremely um, potent to the bacteria in the colon, yeah. which create butyrate. So they're very, very quick to peel acid. Okay. So they can actually um, kind of go. Like you. almost like poison you with your own. Your own putrid. Yeah. <laughs> So um, apples, as much as they are amazing, I would just be in the start suggesting one, maybe two a day. Yeah, like maybe grate them. Yep, and grate them. Yeah, put just them over a, over a salad or something. or something. Yeah, but um, when you get into it and you've got a lot of colon backup, like this was my history because of yep. the seizures, it's all a colon issue. Um, I, I can now have about six, seven a day without a problem. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's just a slow process to get that colon moving. They're, yeah. they're very potent. Watermelon. Oh, my God. Watermelon's like drinking cocktails and you think you're sweet and all of a sudden you're, you're not. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> um, yay, honey. Yes, I've never experienced a hydration until then. Yes, I know, right? You actually experience it. You're like, whoa, what is this? Um I see they're really low in protein, but our bodies will reuse our amino acids, right? Yep. I uh, see they are. Uh, what were they, babe? Um, where's the study showing that fruit has all the amino acids? Just my head asking. Um, so I think, to be honest, that was probably a um, an accident on my part saying all. I think they have 17. Uh, so I can send you that research, babe. Um, and the others, we they're not essential like the other ones that you don't need, like they're not essential, but my body doesn't need any convincing at all. Yeah, I know my head, this is where my head went with all of this. That's why I've spent four weeks without clinic. Same here, honey, and did three days randomly on my own, but I'm so excited for the next five day. Yes, so the next five day fruit feast is on the 22nd. Um, so eating more fruit help regulate higher histamine levels or help clear histamine more efficiently. Absolutely. So histamine... Um, uh, the the best kind of um, balance of a histamine is the vitamin C. Yeah. So it's an anti um, histamine reaction, basically. So yeah, all fruits are just so powerful for that. To that, and and I noticed that because I used to get hives a lot in my pregnancies, and um, it was orange juice that seemed to taper that off. That's crazy. My thing that I use for um, 
as an antihistamine is lemon, peppermint, and lavender together. Oh, true. Yeah, so like you, you can use it um, either in a diffuser, and it helps you know with clear all the everything uh, in through, your, the through the sinuses. Um, or if you're having a histamine response, like in your body, which I have, so when I um, have like an autoimmune response or a histamine response. Um, it'll come out in my skin. So I get really bad eczema. Yeah. So for me, putting these three into, um, a, like I'll put it in a big warm glass of water, a drop of each, and drink that down. And instantly, like it, it wow. relieves and it cools and it calms my that yeah. name response. That's so cool. Um, yeah, so. Because it will also be an adrenal response, like an, an, a lack of adrenal um, yeah. neurotransmitters as well, steroids. So yeah, those, those three are amazing together. Cool. That's cool. So That's awesome. on the twenty second of what month are we in? June. Twenty <laughs> second um, of June. We are running a couple of courses side by side that complement each other very well. Um, I'm doing a ten day um, oil camp, um, and I'm actually opening it up for the first time to. Um, new people that haven't got their essential oils yet um and Corey is running her um fruitful feast five day, day fruitful feast. five day challenge um and so we're both inviting you to come and join um for free um and for anybody that um puts in their actually emails me back to the registration link that i sent out to you this morning I will send you this beautiful little introduction kit um, for free. Um, this is just a little gift for Corey and her community. Oh um, so you'll get a, um, a lavender oil, a peppermint, and a lemon. Um, so you can use those for teas. Um, you can use them, you know, if you put, put them on your body, um, relaxing in the bath, all of the things, but we'll teach you all about them. So in the 10 days... Um, I go through everything from reducing the toxic load in your home, so replacing cleaners um, and using the essential oils to, to replace your cleaners with, uh, replacing skincare because, you know, everything that we put on our skin goes directly into our bloodstream. So the more I become aware of this, the more I'm like, oh, what was I using before? And so something like, I, I heard something recently, it's like something like 9 kgs of stuff you put on your face. Oh my gosh, wash. crazy. So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um we'll teach you um the, the home the skincare um and the the physical uses of the oil so not just you know they're not just a pretty smell <laughs> which i thought they were for you know before the other thing i had was they're just the hippies <laughs> 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 I was like, they're just kind of things that Corey Jean uses, you know, those oily <laughs> things. But now that I understand the medicinal benefits of them, um, you know, I, I really understand how really impactful they can be on your body physically, um, but also the emotional support. Yeah. So through our whole lives, you know, the only thing that we know for certain in this life is that like every day is going to be different so whatever life throws at you what you really want to do is increase your resilience and the way that we react to different things so the essential oils have really taught me how to um i guess regulate my emotions um and how to manage my moods um and so that's what what i teach throughout the course as well so it's a 10 day um online course um every day it's 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 done within a container on facebook um and um within that um uh, group you get the support from myself and about 10 other coaches so we all have our own different backgrounds um we've got nutritionists um a naturopath uh herbalist um all sorts massage therapist mummies aunties you know all of the people <laughs> so whoever you are and whatever walk in life you'll find somebody that you connect with in there with the coaches um so yeah please email me back if you're interested in joining i'll send you out this little introductory kit um, and you can really experience the beautiful um essential oils which are yes. yeah so like they've literally changed my life as has the fruitful fast um and if you're interested in joining um corey's next challenge um just comment here and we can 
or respond back to that email to me and I'll and I'll put you on that group as well awesome yeah are there any more there are five new messages no, the, the, um, the ladies were saying like uh, Christy says she uses doTERRA for its purity Love oh that. awesome um, honey yes doTERRA queens <laughs> I choose juices now when I am out and about like you Amy I enjoy going to cafes yeah I know it's nice eh? now moving towards my boys choosing fruit over old habits yes. yeah it's so good and the more you do the more they'll naturally do which is so cool yeah definitely so can kids just have fruit and veggies in their lunchbox for school yeah um is that enough to get them full yeah so we've kind of chatted into that um i will give him leftovers from the night before like zucchini noodles or um cauliflower rice um, my kids eat a lot too they love fruit and veg but i feel like they need more as well yeah totally so um yeah, maybe like something like rice rolls with all of your fruits in it, like your zucchini noodles and your um, julienned carrots and things like that. Yeah, and I think with kids, like their bodies process food so much better than ours do. Yeah. Um, I think more like adding more starchy carbs and things is is fine for them. Um, they 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 can digest them much much better than us. Yeah. Um, but just choosing good quality really. Yeah, right. and Ty said here for um, yeah avocado and coconut cream can give them more fats, which is yeah it's fully satisfying. So it's yeah, and using hemp seed oil where you need to and stuff. Um, Ashley's argument to me was fruit and vegetables are easier to eat, and she is full. If she has sandwiches, then she has less time to plan. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, it's so, so cute. cute. Lunch is important. When I do school pick up, I have fruit with me. Oh my gosh, that's cool. If they're hungry, I have something for them straight away, but otherwise they wait until we get home. That's so cool, honey. Yeah. That's a good way to start. And it's so easy. Like and that's how you should start, eh? On you. Yeah. Start with fruit. And that's what I always, I'm that mean mum that the kids go, I'm hungry. And I'm like, ah, oh, have a banana. <laughs> and it actually <laughs> determines whether they're hungry or yeah, not. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Or they just want like a packet of chips or something. Yeah, and they're just craving what's <laughs> So would you recommend eating mono fruit meals, Veronica said? Yes, absolutely. Just one fruit type at a time for even easier digestion. Absolutely. So I love mono meals. Um, I generally have my lunches full mono meals. Um, and on occasion, my breakfast will be full mono as well. So um, I do a watermelon cleanse. That's four days. And I thought I'd get sick of it. But that was a full four-day mono cleanse. Did you eat four days of watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> so good and I felt amazing. I juiced it, I smoothied it, I oh cut it gosh, into shoes. I made it into salads. <laughs> it was what um Corey does suggest mono. Yeah. Plus there's no time to think over it yet. It's super easy when you take away decisions that you like just having mandarins. Cool. So out thanks honey. Awesome Amy. Thanks Amy. Yes please Amy. Oh look awesome. at that. This is such a cool gift. I had no idea she was doing that. Thank you guys so much. That was awesome. Looking forward to connecting with fruit communities. I know. So we'll be starting, um, I'm starting a fruitful abundance group so that we can kind of go more worldwide with it, not just the fruit cleanse, but um, my ultimate goal is to do a fruit festival in New Zealand and get this out to the world because the more that we all align and channel our bodies with the highest nutrition and the highest, um, you know, the, the highest light because it is this divine light um the more we shift the planet and the right? more impact we can have the right? more impact we have and so it has no plastic it has no karma you're not hurting anything it's you know it's and, easy and i really you. want people to understand that they can eat super well without yeah. it being expensive so my biggest thing was when i was um in that whole paleo movement was oh only rich people can eat this way yeah it was pretty expensive it's, yeah but also you don't need all that crap no, like you don't just, need the big protein yeah fruit um eating seasonally and buying locally is super cheap super accessible for everybody but i don't think people will get it until we start doing it and we're the, the role models. we're the role models yes. and we're the leaders and then we just slowly you know teach our Bano and then their communities and then you know and spread the land because the more that yeah. we do this the more the less water we use and everything yeah so Catherine says thanks ladies i'm joining the oil camp and would love to try Corey's challenge too can you send me details awesome Yay. so exciting um, honey i have to head off shortly yes i think we are at the point where we're going to say a huge thank you everyone i would love to see you all on the five day uh, fruit challenge i go into all of these um kind of top secrets of ultimate health 
uh, over the five days so that you can tap into why essentially in, in more detail why we're doing it and I also do a, a few recipes here and there and um, and if we combine that with the essential oils we're on something so cool right so we really appreciate everyone that's thanks here guys today so much and joined us in my home and I love being part of the fruit group with you girls like honey your messages every day like I wake up and I'm like what's honey having for breakfast <laughs> People follow Honey's Instagram because she's like owns that Instagram and what she's doing. I love it. It's so, so cool. cool. And thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, and I'm so excited about the oil camp next week. We've already got like 75 people registered. Yes. So it's going to be epic. Yeah. And I've got about $1,200 worth of prizes <gasps> within it. So diffusers okay, you should send um, some our way <laughs> <laughs> diffusers anybody in the fruit cleans can join us so um i've got the most beautiful essential oils i've got beautiful skincare um all of the things oh my gosh. so it's going to be super fun and we've got the most epic coaches in there as well so yeah you get so much free coaching and so much epicness um <laughs> it's word, just babe? insane <laughs> Awesome guys, so much love to all of you awesome. and we'll see you on the oil camp and the challenge. Cool. Bye. Bye. Have an amazing day.